let's let a few before we have about uh, 15 minutes or so left before we have to end the show. So let's let some of your audience uh, talk to you, because I'm sure there's a bunch of people that would love to uh, say hi to you guys. Uh, we'll get it started with uh, Ray in Maryland. Ray, go ahead. You're on with Matthias and Rudy from Scorpions. Oh, thanks, Eddie, for this. Uh, Rudy, Rudolph, Matthias, love you guys. This is an honor for me. You're two of my guitar heroes, brothers. Thank you. All righty. Thanks. And uh, the first time I got to see you guys was in the summer of 1988 on the Monsters of Rock tour. And you guys, I thought, stole the show. I thought you were fantastic. And this crazy thing happened near the end of when you guys played, where everybody in the stadium started throwing food. My friend that I was with got pelted in the face with a mustard-loaded hot dog, <laughs> and it got crazy. We ended up... Yeah, Food's expensive at shows. I don't know why people would throw food or beer. It's a lot of money at a concert. <laughs> You're wasting money, but well, go ahead, Ray. Yeah, it wasn't... Back then, it wasn't so bad, and the ticket was 25 bucks. And, of course, that was Kingdom Come, Metallica, Dokken, uh, Scorps, Van Halen. So it was a pretty good deal. But it got so crazy during Van Halen. We left about two-thirds through during their set because people started fires. It was an RFK stadium in Washington, D.C., and it was just crazy. And I figured I don't know how much of that you saw because it started toward the end of your set, but it happened before Van Halen came on. and. It got really crazy. And it's just a fond memory for me. And I just wanted to thank both of you for the great music that you've given us over the years, guys. And I'm glad you're still making music, which is really cool. So just thanks for everything, guys. Thank you, Ray. Appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks that tour, for the story. That tour in 88, the Monsters of Rock tour, exactly. was, was legendary, and still people still talk about it, as you can see with Ray. What, what are your memories of it, and did you have much interaction with Eddie Van Halen at that course. time? I mean, we were. Uh, by the way, in 1996, my brother called me, uh, 76, yeah, 76, called me and said, Rudolf, why are you guys not playing in America? And, and uh, what? Yeah, we want, but this is, we can't. Yeah, but here it's a band playing around called Van Halen. They're playing your stuff. We is coming and catch a train and then and then. Oh, they were playing early yes, Scorpions Van exactly. Halen early on. Yeah. So and then when we met, when we was running each other, this was already before in Hamburg at CCH when they uh, opened up for Black Sabbath, um, and we went backstage and we had a, then a party for uh, David Lee Ross' birthday. Um, they came, David came and, hey, catch your train and stuff. I mean, we, we, we somehow became friends uh, because they're coming from Los Angeles and we are from, from Germany. That was a completely <laughs> crazy uh, uh, mixer. And we are still uh, good, good friends. Uh, we spent a lot of time in, in Eddie's studio. He played us the new stuff. We Back yeah. in, in 1988, we had Savage Amusement just released so we played it to them in their studio also and during the tour i spent a lot of time with eddie uh, because we happened to have the hotel rooms always on the same floor almost <laughs> always on the same floor and we're sitting together he showed me how to empty the see-through liquor in the mini bars <laughs> <laughs> like like uh, like vodka, like where you fill it so you don't get white for rum, it? and and oh, gin. Just, you know? Oh, how to just empty a drink at all? Yeah, no, <laughs> drink it and refill it with tap water and close the. Oh, the, so you didn't get billed? Yeah. So then, whoever took the room next, yeah, poured tap yeah, water yeah, out of the gin bottle. Yeah, had a break from gin. <laughs> so. Eddie